Shalom brothers and sisters. So we've covered just how everything prophetically in Israel is in place and ready for end times. We talked about the temple that's ready to go, the red ephes that are ready to go, the priesthood school that's practicing, the priests that have been selected, the high priest is ready, the temple instruments are ready, they're going to get the original instruments back from Italy. All these things are in place, the mikvah is ready, I can carry on and on and on, but this video <laughs> is not about just that. This is one more thing that's popped up within this war in Israel that used to happen in biblical times and is now happening again, which is exciting and amazing. And I want to share this story with you and talk about that. And it's always the statement that begins like this. For the first time in 2000 years, 2000 years since what? Since their temple was destroyed and they were scattered across the world. 2,000 years since they had a priesthood and a Sanhedrin and all these things. 2,000 years since Yeshua HaMashiach died on the cross and rose again three days later and fulfilled everything and made a way for us to approach the throne of grace. 2,000 years. So every time they say 2,000 years later or 2,000 years since, and we're now doing this again, I hear since Jesus, we're doing this again. Wow. From Jesus to Jesus. He's about to come pick up his bride 2,000 years later. And now you're starting to pick up where you left off. For the first time in 2,000 years, priests blessing soldiers going to war. As the male descendants of the biblical Aaron, Kohanim, the priests, are mandated with blessing the nation of Israel. But this is usually limited to blessing a congregation in a synagogue. Saul felt that at this time of dire need, this is a person in Israel, his priestly blessing would serve to protect a soldier. He's from the tribe and he is a priest, right? Saul hurried to the airport and after a bit of searching, found a young man among a large pile of duffel bags full of donated equipment for his IDF unit, preparing to leave for Israel. Saul made an unusual request. I am a Kohen, Saul said. Can I give you a bracha? Okay, so in English, I am a priest. Can I give you a blessing? Saul placed his hands on the young man's head and gave him a heartfelt blessing. The young man's eyes filled with tears. Several other young men who were about to leave to fight in the war against Hamas gathered around asking to be blessed. Word quickly got out and Saul organized a WhatsApp group to connect soldiers with Kohanim. Since coordinating Kohanim and soldiers was impossible, each soldier was assigned an individual Kohan who sent a video of him blessing the soldier by name. The list grew at an unbelievable rate and within a few days, over 4,000 names of soldiers were signed up and over 300 Kohanim were assigned to bless them individually. In many cases, the soldiers are already on the front line and their parents or loved ones are signing them up, Saul said. While in uniform, they are being blessed by a Kohen who singles them out by name. When Israel first became a nation upon exiting Egypt, God assured them, they would be protected in war of the specially appointed Kohanim bless them. When you take the field against your enemies and see horses and chariots, forces larger than yours, you have no fear of them. For your God who brought you out from the land of Egypt is with you. Before you join battle, the Kohen shall come forward and address the troops. He shall say to them, Hear, O Israel. You are about to join battle with your enemy. Let not your courage falter. Do not be in fear or in panic or in dread of them. For it is the Lord your God who marches with you to do battle for you against your enemy to bring you victory. Deuteronomy 1 to 4. It is a powerful time. We are going to see wonders like we have never seen before. Miracles that were written about in the Bible. Rabbi Kahane predicted, if he only knew how true that is at this moment, as more and more eyes go open to Yeshua HaMashiach and his light, and as more and more miracles take place where God intervenes and protects and just overcomes the enemy. 
We are going to see all those things. As we have seen before, God is faithful and true always. And how amazing is it that they are now blessing their troops for battle, as they did way back in the Old Testament. 2,000 years since something like that has happened. Keep praying for Israel. Keep praying for the peace of Jerusalem. And especially keep praying for more and more Jews to see the light of their Messiah before the rapture comes. Shalom.